So you want to be a nurse practitioner? I think that is a great choice because nurse practitioners are always in high demand and have a really good salary. I was able to make over $200,000 alone by my second year. In this video, I'll be discussing the process of becoming a nurse practitioner and how difficult it really is. I hope you find this information helpful to make the best decision for your future. To become a nurse practitioner, you must be a registered nurse first. Now, some people may find that mastering the initial concepts in nursing school much harder than building upon those concepts in nurse practitioner school. On the other hand, some students find that nurse practitioner school and its advanced practice concepts are harder to grasp and apply in practice. And let's be honest, a lot of the concepts you learned in RN school most likely you've forgotten a lot of it because it's not typically used day to day in clinical practice. I mean, I was an ICU nurse and I learned women's health. I can't tell you anything about an oxytocin drip. Remember, you are preparing for the role of the provider. It is also another level of responsibility, which can be intimidating in itself. Now, you will have many advanced courses that must be completed to diagnose and to treat your patients properly. Now, that brings me to the curriculum. This will depend on the type of nurse practitioner program you are enrolled in. But all nurse practitioner programs require advanced pharmacology, advanced pathophysiology, advanced health assessment. Advanced pathophysiology and advanced pharmacology are some of the hardest courses in MP school. You must have a deep understanding of pharmacodynamics, which is the mechanism of action of drugs, pharmacokinetics, knowing the absorption, the distribution, the metabolism, the excretion, and the clinical indications. Thinking about this gives me anxiety. Now, when it comes to how long it takes to complete a program, again, this will depend on the type of program you are enrolled in. A master's degree can be completed within 24 to 18 months and also requires 750 to 1,000 clinical hours. Now, if you complete your doctoral degree, it will take you an additional 15 to 24 months on top of the master's with an additional 1,000 hours. And you must complete a capstone project that you have to present in front of the committee. Then you have to take your national certification, which is challenging in itself. Now, let's talk about online versus on campus. Both on campus and online nurse practitioner programs hold the same rigor. It is difficult to say which type of learning environment is more difficult than the other. Me personally, there has been no significant statistical difference in performance when comparing students who've chosen the online approach versus those who've chosen a traditional route. Me personally, online may appear to be the easier route with work and family and kids, but I believe it's the most difficult choice. Online requires another level of discipline. You must be able to self-motivate and plan your day accordingly, often weeks in advance. And if you're currently working and you have a family, this could be extremely challenging. And it's often lonely. You don't have that peer-to-peer -peer interaction or motivation. Unlike in nursing school, you had study groups, you did your care plans together, you encouraged one another. Unfortunately, you don't have that taking online courses. You must rely on yourself 100%, which can take a hit on your mental health. If you can find a full-time or part-time program that will allow you to have work-life balance and school balance, then it's absolutely doable. Lastly, I want to talk a little bit about transitioning from an RN to MP. The transition from registered nurse to nurse practitioner is a significant career world transition. It is often difficult and can be stressful across various settings. During this time, there is a shift from an experienced, often expert RN to an inexperienced, novice status in the MP role. This can result in an alteration of professional identity, loss of confidence, and an impaired MP role development. And nurse practitioners with less RN experience seem to have more of a difficult time transitioning to that role. And the RN with less experience are thought to require more time to transition into that new role. Personally, I felt very insecure and not confident in my transition from an RN to MP. And many times I relied heavily on my collaborating physician, rightfully so, especially by me being a new grad, 
But even some simple things, I felt like I wasn't confident in making those decisions independently. I still felt like an RN taking and following orders from the MD. But with time and developing self-trust, you too can become a great provider. And with time management, accurate planning, and a good support system, you can get through MP school. I did it, so I know you can too. I hope this video was helpful to my future nurses, students, and nurse practitioners. If you like this video, please show the like button some love and subscribe because I will be dropping many gems on this channel to help you become more successful in your career. And plus, why wouldn't I? We are brothers and sisters in medicine. Until next time. Bye.